Are we live? Marsha, Marsha, the, the, the little red light is on. That, that means we're live. Uh, I'm sitting down. Marsha, camera one, please. Camera one. Marsha, are, are, are you there? Oh, there we go. Thank you, Marsha. <clears throat> um, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Hardcore Minecraft. I'm the Shasta One, and what do we have here? Oh, my God. I finally get to say good morning to some of you people on the west coast of the United States. And good afternoon, maybe good early evening if you're, you know, in Eastern Europe. Balloon fire, alpine giant, slipper slope! What is going on? I got some daytime Minecraft for you. Because today is a travel day for me. I'm gonna be, uh, gonna be on the road this week. Uh, my flight leaves later today, so I thought, you know, I got limited time. I haven't streamed that much over the past month. So I got to get these in while I got them, baby. So, uh, yeah, that just, just thought I'd accompany those of you who are trapped at work or in school right now. Because me, I'm just, well, this is the exact same chair, chair I'd be sitting in if I was working today. So, um, yeah, it's really not that much different to, to me. Anyway, one tedious task for the next. I'm just not being paid for this one. So let's get into it, shall we? Do I remember the last propaganda? Well, actually, I think I got it queued up right over here, right? Scroll down a little bit in the official Shasta One Discord. Oh, yes, yes. Your baby's first sentence must be, never eat balloon fires cookies or you will die. Plus, you'll lose your Minecraft license. Balloon fire, do you, are your cookies still intact today? Do you have a second round of cookies queued up? <laughs> Yo, that's hype, Alpine. I mean, I truly understand having the Minecraft itch. I'm, I'm there myself, of course. So you're finally back home. Also hype. Ready to add some builds to Humble. Nice, dude. Are you building, are you still building around like the jungle temple? Or do you have like a spot on, on the server that's like all your own? What you, what you working on these days, man? Because I have been an absolute bum. And spending 7,000... Not quite 7,000. 1,700? Oh my god, I need, I need coffee. Wait, what's... Marsha, what's this over here? Did you get me coffee? Thank you, Marsha. Wow. Oh, I needed that. No more, uh, no more, uh, stumbling over my words. I'm, I'm all caffeinated, baby. So what have I done? I've actually made a little bit of progress since uh, I signed off yesterday. I added... Exactly one row, which you may recall if you were here, that, that's just the easiest row of all time. So, just to kick things off, how's about we just fly over here in this murky darkness, or the murky snowness, and see what all we got. Man, it seems like it's always, there's always a weather event going on when I want to get like this grand scale view of the Wolf Brand can. Guess I'll kill the shaders. I'll have you guys know, though, I, I installed Minecraft on my work laptop, which has a nice beefy i7 in it and 32 gigabytes of RAM. And I'm going to see if I can stream from the hotel this week in the evenings. Um, not, no promises. That's really coming together, y'all. Like, look at that. That's recognizable as a slice of Wolf Brand can label. It gets kind of weird when you get up close like that. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't want to die like I did yesterday. I burned a totem of undying with a very hard landing. Alpine wants to add a raid farm and a wither skull farm. Dope. So those are probably off on their own. Yeah, they're just kind of by definition. But I have both of those, and they're all off by their lonesome by uh, geographic need. Um, when 1.19 drops, Alpine's going to look for a mountain to build on. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Dude, some nice... I got that, I got that in me right now. I, I bought a book yesterday, and it's all about the early um, Himalayan exploits of, of European climbers. And they're um, really the, the Sherpas and the Nepalese peoples who did most of the work for them. And um, man, just something about, something about mountain climbing just uh, really gets, gets my heart moving. I guess that's pretty appropriate for <laughs> being said to a guy named Alpine Giant. <laughs> but yeah, 
got me a nice book. So I've actually had mountains and snowy peaks on my, on my mind over the past day. I'm already about a quarter of the way through that book, and I bought it for today's flight. So, whoops. <laughs> Going to have a lot, of, uh, a lot of airport downtime today. So that's the overview. Balloon fire, I'm just going to like, I'm looking away. I'm looking away from that Wolf Brand can with beans. Gross. Disgusting, sir. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. If you like beans, I, I, I don't understand and I never will understand. But we can meet somewhere in the middle, I think. So where are we at here? This might be an even easier column. What the heck? No specialty blocks to speak of. Down there, filling out the, uh, the gap between... I don't know, that's probably like net... That's the end of net weight. Probably. These are all common blocks. I'm getting kind of low on red concrete. I have crimson stems. A good fiction book about mountaineering about that time. Check out The Abominable by Dan Simmons. Dude, I'm actually going to make a note of that. Because, um... I don't know, man. I... 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 I haven't been interested in like reading a fiction book in a long time. It's all it's all nonfiction for me right now. It's like I just want my reading to be firmly grounded in, in the real world. I don't know what's up with that. The Abominable. Dan Simmons. Alpine Wreck. I gotta give credit to these recommendations, you know. Oh, it's, and it is a good, it's a fiction book. Oh my god, it wasn't until the last third that you realized that it was not nonfiction. That's cool, man. Maybe, maybe since, like, I have this interest in mountaineering at the moment, maybe, um, maybe this will rekindle my love of fiction. I'm trying to think of the last fiction book that I've, I've really read. I just finished a book um, by a famous mountaineering author, John Krakauer. This one's not, it's the first book I've read of his that's not about mountaineering. It's called Under the Banner of Heaven, and it was a, a 2004 take on um, Mormon fundamentalism out in, the, uh, in Utah and Arizona. And it's also like a, a low-key, like, you know, not quite secret history of the Mormon church. Just like, a, 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 let's say, a, um, <clears throat> a grounded in the secular account of the early days of the Mormon church. It, it was pretty, uh, it was a great read. I mean, John Krakauer just, he has a great way with words, I gotta say. And then after that, I was like, well, I, I still want to read about mountains, so here we go. Iron Block is like, same. I love that same bird balloon fire. Last book that Balloon Fire read was about a boy with schizophrenia. I bet I bet that would be an interesting read. We just had a we had a long conversation yesterday on the stream about um about mental health and just how complex the brain is. And I, I feel like anything that is a, a, a thoughtful take on schizophrenia would be a, an interesting read. What was I over here for? I think I was gonna refill my red concrete. Also, let's get that red shulker box down here. Alpina, I went back to the end. I got like 10 more uh, shulker boxes. I got a little uh, ambitious, let's say, on getting them. Mostly because I needed per per pillars for my, my wolf brand can. There's just the occasional, like, absurdly ridiculous purple block. It's hidden in among all of these, like, dark and red colors. And I lived. I, I survived. Where are we at here? I went for a run this morning. I've been getting back into running, too, by the way. I don't know, like, how permanent a shift that is. I just, I feel like a fat slob. <laughs> I, I bought, I bought a, um, a pair of jeans off of, off of Amazon. Bought them off the internet. First time I've done, like, an internet purchase of jeans. That's not true. That's not true. But this is the first time it didn't work out, because I got, like, a waist, a waist size up from my usuals. I had to buy some fireproof jeans. Where I'm going, it's, it's not going to be cold. I had to buy a whole set of fireproof clothes and some, like, metatarsal covering steel toes. Some really intense ones. But anyway, I tried these jeans on, and man, I'm kind of... 
not a it's not a very appealing look kind of having trouble with that button <laughs> like this is a new problem for me so i gotta get back out there running and watching my diet a little bit how exciting is that you guys are getting a nice glimpse into the thought process of a guy in his early 30s this is this is what my generation's struggling with right now <laughs> And also, how to get more red concrete. Boom. Okay, we're set. We're set. It's just... Bro, I, I, I worked for 19 straight days in this freaking... Um, in this factory. This, you know, quote-unquote food-safe factory. And, you know, when you're, like, deep on a project, like, my... At least for me, my diet just suffers. Everyone gets, like... Everyone orders, like, a bulk sandwich order... And it's all there, and, like, the moment... I don't know, I, I kind of stress eat. <laughs> so, like, there's all this, like, smorgasbord of food available while you're stressing out, trying to get this project done in a conference room full of people. And it's just, like, I have a little bit of room for a sandwich, and eating a sandwich would distract me from the task at hand. And so, like, I'd be all for it. And, you know, I just think that running is just... It's, it's It just feels like my thing. Like, I have a very hard time imagining a version of myself that doesn't feel that need to go out and run. And the, the fun part for me is that like over these past few days, the past week I've been, been running without listening to anything, no headphones, no phone on me, just like going out, just me in the environment. And uh, it's been a really nice, just, it's been, it, this is kind of rare for me. It's kind of just really nice. Just to have to listen to my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> How we doing, buddy? Just checking in on this two-mile run. General Kenobi. What's up, Beeves? I actually just had a sandwich. I think I disappoint... I, I, I disappoint uh, Zeta sometimes when I'm just like, I ate a sandwich for lunch. She finds that just so boring. For me, it's just like, I'm ready to get back to whatever I'm doing. Whether that be work, Minecraft, or whatever task I have laid out for the day. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, 13 of those red red wool. Let's get into it, boys. Red wool goes there. And um, where's all my mushroom blocks? Did I, not, did I, just, I just packed up all my mushroom blocks. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13. Those are mushroom blocks, and those were supposed to be wool blocks. Dude, I'm already shot. I, I've, I've already lost my mind. I'm not mentally in this. <laughs> Let's start over. <laughs> okay, we're back to where we started. 13 wool blocks, shall we? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 13. Beavs, I actually stumbled over my words in a lunch meeting with a client last week where we were talking about mushrooms and uh, I was talking about like mushroom hunting, like, you know, morels, just like your standard brown edible mushrooms in the Midwest US. And they're like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh yeah, you know, I'm really into mushrooms. <laughs> and like... I said it very enthusiastically because, like, <laughs> that's that's how I can be, you know? I just have that energy to me. And I stumbled over my words because I was like, do I address the fact that I just, like, I'm not talking about the non-psychedelic ones? Do I try to turn it into a joke? This is a client who has hired me. Like, and I got, I, I, it immediately sent me, like, inside my own head. <laughs> and I just wound up chuckling about it. Mm. Some good coffee from a from an Arizona Starbucks mug. <sighs> it's as hot as the desert. Okay, I, I gotta I'm gonna I gotta keep this for the balloon fire propaganda coffee table book I'm putting together. What's what you got? I'm ready for the propaganda. Program me, son. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. Got a single wool block on top of that, so we're going to knock that bad boy out. Two, three. 
Oh, we're dropping. Oh, we're still dropping. Three mushrooms on top of that. I think that's where we're at. Should be in line with a weathered copper block. Yes, we are. Back on track. Why? Stop dropping. Got three more wool. Let's do it. Time to train Zeta to sniff out truffles and move to the French countryside. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think she'd be opposed. Mostly that French countryside. I don't know. I don't know. She, I can't imagine she want to be too far away from a city. She, re she referred to Shasta Town, USA as a small city a couple days ago, and I was just like, bro, what? <laughs> Compared to some very, very large cities. Okay. Okay. I should still be able to find a pair of fireproof jeans here in my C-tier American city. That, I was miffed about it, man. I looked all over the city trying to find some jeans that I could just dip in lava and they'd come out unscathed. And you can't find them. He even highlighted it. Oh, two pieces of propaganda. Oh, just one, but one's highlighted because never forget. Propaganda of balloon fire. The bigger cup, the better tea, except black tea and green tea. Actually, all tea. Use huge cup only for rum. Oh, my. Balloon fire. 20-year-old Shasta would be all over that propaganda. There was actually a notorious night. Um. When like, you know, my, my group of friends, we, we just kind of discovered drinking as a group, kind of like late into our high school careers, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> and um, yeah, there was an incident where um, young Shasta may have poured an entire coffee mug of rum and drank it. And that was not a great night. That was not a great night. That's what I'm saying, Beebs. Name one small city with a freaking pyramid in it. Come on. You can't. All right, Balloon Fire, take care. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. I'm already having a nice stream. I think I'm going to I'm going to take your advice. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh my god, there's another huge one. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. Are you serious? 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, 70 freaking five. 70 freaking five. Okay. That's that's kind of a lot, but we can do it. Goodness gracious me. Okay. So 75. So that means uh, 64 plus 11. And it should be one taller than the mushroom block next to me. Okay, let's try it. Not saying 69. I missed it. I missed it. I was so focused on the task at hand. Oh, we can turn those pretty shaders back on too, man. Can't have people coming by the coming by the stream thinking that this here's a Minecraft streamer who can't can't show off those uh those fancy shaders. People are petty, man. Sometimes it's like, oh my god, that block has shadows. It's time to stop by this stream. You never know. In reality, they're like, what is this freaking split down the center dichotomy of a Minecraft stream. Is he playing two games at once? This is also pretty interesting and hardcore. Let's see what's going on there. So there should be one taller than the one next to me. And it is! RTX on! Yes, sir! Alright, where's my, where's my red wool? Here we go. Pop that guy in place. One, two... It's kind of a peaceful existence, you know? It's like I spent the past 12 years in Minecraft just trying to devise a certain project that I could just turn my brain off and ramble into a microphone while I was doing it, and I, I finally found it. This is like, you know... Oh, that's not red wool, that's red concrete. 
like how Stephen King spent like 20 years, his first 10 years of his career or something, just writing off these one-off books. And then he woke up one morning and was like, you know, I'm writing some pretty long screeds anyway. Time to tie it all together and start on something serious. That became the Dark Tower series. This is my, this is my, um, what'd you call it? Maroon Tower? Crim Crimson Tower! That is what I'm making. And it contains a bunch of Wolf Brand. One, two, three. You guys want to get some beats going? Realizing, yeah, I, I, I can carry this with just my, my sweet ramblings, but... How about Sweet Dreams by Harris Heller off the album White? Cat Jam. <laughs> oh, Balloon Fire's back! Maybe. Wait, how, how far into this did I get? One, two, three. Uh, this is six, right? Oh no, it's just three. We're good. Make a clutch. Like a like a handbag? <laughs> what is a clutch? Like jump off the edge and try to catch myself in some water? Oh Jesus. That would be I I would just die, man. I would just die. I can't MLG. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do a flip! <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I love that Shasta Chili dance. Just one of the many great things that Thor the Viking made for this channel in its early days. All right, we're moving into the obsidian section. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. I said this yesterday, but I'll repeat it again. It gets kind of lost on me, like, how much obsidian I'm truly building with, just because I have already gathered all the obsidian that I will need for this build. So it's not, it's not even like, it doesn't even occur to me how, I don't know, uh, time intensive it is for all this obsidian that I'm putting down, just because, like, I've already collected it. It means nothing to me. Nothing! Toss a crimson stem down, toss down the wool. Yeah, something I gotta do before I leave for the airport today. I gotta make sure this world's on a USB key so I can put it on my laptop. See if I can keep this stream going from my destination. I also like, I, I, yeah, I know it's possible because like I, I listened to Bill Burr for years. Still do. I, I'm just less of a podcast guy than I used to be. But um, he would occasionally do uh, episodes of his podcast like from hotel rooms just because he's out on the road, you know, living that comedian's lifestyle. So I know it's possible. I just don't want to disturb my fellow, you know, hotel residents. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. There's so many factors that could like shoot this plan in the foot, but I, I at least want to give myself the possibility, you know? Four, five, six. Okay. Double checking. I got that right. Three, four, four wool. We got it. And then just two more to finish it off. Yeah, that's like hotel security comes knocking on my door. Just like, excuse me, are you Mr. Shasta? Yes. Um, <clears throat> we got a noise complaint, and I just be like. Follow me at twitch.tv slash the Shasta one. Slam the door in their face. Keep going. I only respond to my chat right now, and I've actually turned it on to a followers only chat. So uh, follow me first, and then tell me to shut up. <laughs> mm. That's a big cup of coffee, man. Like, you add a little bit to this thing, and it becomes a bucket. This is basically a bucket with a handle. 
Starbucks, I suppose, not exactly known for their small portion sizes. Rum. Yummy rummy. I may, uh, I may have a, an airport beer. One of my friends, actually it's Thor the Viking. He, um, he has a bit of a rule when going to the airport. He's like, you know, I just never, I, I never wanted to die in a plane crash sober. <laughs> so he always gets a, he always has one beer at the airport before uh, taking off on his flight. Doesn't matter if it's like six in the morning. He wants to go to the airport bar. Oh my God, that's coming in, dude. That is coming in so well. Like this is, this is so real. The amount of time that this is going to take is still, it's, like I said, it, it's like one of those road trips that like it's long enough that you've just accepted that you're never going to reach your destination and the road trip just goes by quicker as a result. That's, that's where I'm at with this. So I think this is where I'm at. This is um, what, is that, that's pink terracotta? Magenta terracotta. Not what I was thinking, but I got that one too. Got all that for show. I'll just fly up this column real quick. Scope out any um, potential items. What I'm going to have to do when I get to the chili, the actual bowl of chili itself, with all those the variety of block textures and whatnot, I was thinking about how to best attack that, strategically speaking. Bro, I didn't even know there was cracked netherite bricks. Like, when was that added? Like, what? How is this? I, I did make some chiseled nether bricks this morning, too, by the way. That that's also new to me. That's going to be an easy one. So all I really need, I got to make sure I got some red nether bricks, which, again, didn't really know that was a thing until starting this build. And I think that's really it. And I have those on hand, so... uh. Yeah, we're, we're, we're good to start the next row, fam. We're Gucci, as the kids would say a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So we're just one block above we are right here we are starting right here right here Woo. i gotta switch the water man that coffee's coffee's hitting oh that's the stuff that's the stuff <laughs> Good afternoon, Random Swee. Good early evening to you. I will hydrate. That was good. What a perfect introduction. I did a double take on that, man. I was like, hydrate? Random Swee? He hasn't even said hi yet. It's like, I, I imagine like if you were here, you'd just like burst in the door and be like, drink that water. <laughs> All right, good to see you too, sheesh. <laughs> that was good, I need to hydrate. So let me see here. I got my one block. So counting this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 wool blocks to start out this round. Just because I can, and I'm clearly distracted this morning, I'm gonna make sure that is an accurate 14 count. All right. Looking good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, you know what's crazy is that we're getting close. We're getting to the point where I'm, I can just start from the ground up again. You know, this is where this is as far as I got when I decided I wanted to start the build horizontally. Before I realized that was an act of utter madness and just doing this, the vertical builds one column at a time was going to be easier. We're so close to that. <laughs> we are not so close to anything in any sense of the word on this build. But, you know, I, I got to I gotta break this down a little bit. Just look at it like one bite at a time. 
<laughs> I had a feeling, Absent Crabson, that like there was going to be a few double takes on Twitch this morning for me, this afternoon for you, or this evening. I'm, I'm back at it. So today is a travel day for me, which means that the only work I'm doing is I'm flying to um, a new work site. So I just kind of have to get my Twitch streams while I got them, right? I've been streaming for about 30 minutes, only half an hour, so not not that long in the grand scheme of things. I've completed a single column so far on the Wolf Brand can this morning. I've completed two columns total since uh, yesterday's stream. That looks magenta-y. Wait, did I just cover up the magenta-y one? No, there we go. Magenta terracotta, magenta terracotta. Nice to meet you. Okay, let's get back to it. No, not not that late at all. I'm just, I have my work laptop set up that I could potentially stream this week, but like everything, I was just talking about this. Oh my God, why did I mind that? <laughs> everything would have to line up perfectly in order to stream from the hotel room. Like the upload speed of the hotel Wi-Fi has to be good enough. Um, the volume considerations of streaming in a hotel um, just my time schedule, because I'm, I'm there to work, you know, so that's going to require some late nights, probably. Was that eight? Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I can count and ramble, but I will forever have doubts as to the accuracy of it. White wool? White wool, anybody? They have some over there. Oh, well, I'll track it down. So yeah, I, I figured I had a little bit of time before I had to like go off to the airport today. So, eh, might as well stream it up, right? Three, okay, three wool blocks. I believe we are past the uh, white lettering down there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. 17 mushroom blocks. Ah, 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 okay, okay. Oops. And you would think that I have nothing to ramble about today because I, you know, I was streaming just last night. But um, who knows? You might be surprised. <laughs> I might be surprised. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Curtain upgrade, baby. I think that I, I probably drive Zeta crazy on occasion because like I definitely have this thing where if I own something that works perfectly well, even if it is just horrifically ugly and it like doesn't look well with like the general room aesthetic or something, that I just have a really hard time letting go. Like you guys re might remember that super ugly like ratty office chair with that faux leather that was flaking off that I was streaming in back in like early 2020. Uh. I just couldn't let that chair go. It wasn't even comfortable to sit in, but it, it worked. I was like, I'm just going to toss this in the trash where it's going to sit for thousands of years. I can't do it. And finally, Zeta just like bought me a new office chair to sit in, which I'm sitting in right now. And I begrudgingly agreed that, yeah, okay, this is better. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. Is that where we're at? That, I feel like I started miscounting there. Vampire Survivors, next, when? <laughs> after I'm done with the can, after I've died in this world, and after, um, Outer Worlds. <laughs> Outer Worlds is queued up on my next playlist. I just didn't expect this world to last quite as long as it did. Oh my. Oh my. I'm still not sure about that count, y'all. I wish I was more sure. I think it was 59, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
no. Why? Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eight, eight, twenty. Thirty. Just build, bro. I'm just building. I got my visual cue here. So it's one pass to the next wool block is what I'm building. And it's going to be a long ways up. This is probably unwise. I wouldn't recommend future Shasta to do this. Just um, depend on the column next to me to build. But this is a pretty empty area of the Wolf Brand can label. It's just a lot of red. It's just a lot of flat, untextured red, no less. So I'm going to take a gamble on this one, and hopefully it doesn't bite me in the butt. But if it does, lesson learned, am I right? Okay, so one past the wool block, and there's another mushroom block above and to the left of me, so we're in a good spot. We are where I thought I was. We are where I thought I was. We are where I thought we were. Because this is a group effort. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, since it is a group effort, anytime one of you guys wants to jump in here and help me out, Jesus. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is my thing, man. I'm enjoying it. It's weird how much I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so what do these ugly curtains look like, Absent Crabson? Because I'm imagining like some like some like Scottish kilt plaid. <laughs> it's just a nice plaid pattern. Lots of greens and reds. And maybe a little dusty, like the bottoms of them haven't been cleaned in a long time. That's what I see in my mind's eye. I'm sure it's a lot more, a lot more tame than that. That's a little off the wall. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And another eleven. Did I miss the mark here? Yeah, I missed one down there. What do you mean it's worse? Oh my god. What could be worse than plaid? <laughs> I'm coming down kind of heavy on plaid. I did miss one. Somewhere. Oh, I see what I did. Thank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're back on track. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, and we're even with the house. Let's go. The anticipation just killing me. Maybe they're like, I had I had like vintage Star Wars sheets. Like these sheets were made about the time that The Empire Strikes Back was released, so 1980. Older than me, even. Oh my god. And I had those Star Wars sheets as a kid, and there was just like, bro. I, I got to like near high school, and it was like, okay, I gotta let these go. Check Discord. Oh no. Actual photographic evidence. <laughs> oh no. E even I can tell that there's some there's some issues here. I like how it has the strands of like fabric hanging down so you can like tie it up top when you want to like get more light in there. 
but it doesn't cover the entire window and it's so thin that like why even bother why even bother having a window shade there it's still letting in all the light Since 1998, baby, it all starts with one step. Hey, just like this can of Wolf brand chili. Maybe that has like some sentimental value to him. I don't know. I see the balloon fire posted as propaganda there as well. Very nice. <laughs> what even is that? <laughs> oh, it just, it, it looks like somebody took a robe, you know, with like the, the tie. <laughs> the, like a robe with a tie and then they just like cut it into a, a window shade <laughs> and yeah we can't have any kind of like kitchen exhibitionism can't have any like voyeurs out there he deserves some privacy and he doesn't even care about any of his shit oh. and does it Yo, like, because I have an inability to throw stuff away, maybe I had some denim that looked that thin. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was due for an upgrade. That was due for an upgrade. Woo! Holy cow, random sweet. That's a pricey monitor, man. You replace your second 24-inch screen, but it costs around 444 euro. Oof. You know what's dumb? It's like, I, I, you have all, all this computing power inside of your PC, right? I, I, I know that you do, because we, you were showing off those awesome specs a few streams ago. But like, I, I, it, I have a hard time spending a lot for a monitor. Like, this monitor was free. This monitor was $40. I bought it from a friend. And the monitor that I'm gaming on, I bought for like $200. Because that was like the cheapest 144 hertz monitor I could find with decent reviews. And it's so funny. It's like I'm just wasting all this computing power in my little PC down here. Just because I cheap out on monitors. It's it's pretty dumb <laughs> when you get down to it. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to fly down and get more obsidian. We'll see if I die. That's even better, Absent Crabson. If you already got some curtains that would look well there, you don't have to spend any money on it, that's that's boss. That's that's a no-brainer upgrade, in my opinion. Now, granted, if that was my um, faux denim, extremely thin, inefficient curtain, may maybe I would feel differently about it. Just be like, no, it still works. <laughs> oh, that might be me. That might be me. Yeah, good enough. Top these bad boys off. Yeah, we're pretty high up there. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, I'm going to need to use one more rocket. Let's see if I stick this landing. see the landing is right there at the bottom of all the black textures right there Woo! got it baby 27 inch QHD I think that QHD is like that's a Samsung um, terminology right it's like super HD um, nano IPS 165 Hertz dude hell yeah 144 uh, excuse me, 1440p screen. Yeah, I feel like 1440 is kind of the sweet spot. Like, a lot of people just want to jump up all the way to 4K. But for, especially for 27 inches. Like, I think that 24 inches is like the peak of 1080p gaming, which is what I'm at right now. Once you get up into 27 and 32, like, you need some 1440p. But that's still not so many picture pixels added that you're just stressing out your graphics card needlessly. I think that's that's a great sweet spot, man. At least as far as I'm concerned. I'm, I'm hardly the authority on these things. I I haven't upgraded anything since 2017. <laughs> I'm just just trying to make this last as long as possible, like Absent Crabson's boyfriend's curtains. <laughs> Crap, man. Where is it at? 
I know I got some of that red nether brick in here somewhere. It's so difficult to get out on the balcony with that curtain. Oh, is that that covers like a balcony door? It doesn't cover the entire window part. I didn't even realize that was a door. It is. What is that even doing there? Like what? What? If anything, if so like baseline, what I would do, and as far as someone who cares about interior decoration, you're probably gonna hate this absent craftsman, but at least like mount a window blind, mount some blinds like right there on the door. So at least, you know, you can always just open and close the door and block out all that sunlight and let it in as you please. I think that's a, a more pragmatic approach, if not a very um, pretty one. <laughs> but sure beats having to just... What a, a, a blanket? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, we found him. Here's my red nether bricks. Let's let's do it. Okay, yep. Still got all my shulka boxes in place here. That is that is a relief. Okay. You're planning on getting a hanging curtain, so it's possible to, like, open and close the curtain. Nice. I can dig it. Oh my gosh. Random Swee. It's a Monday. And it's past, it's past noon in Shasatown, USA. That means, like, a whole new... Is that a Steam Deck emails have dropped? <laughs> I wonder where that puts me. I wonder how close I am to getting it. I know I'm not getting the email today, but... I'm gonna put out the call to my boy, uh... Where's that Steam calculator at? Ah, I just didn't get the email. <laughs> I mean, as, as long as he's comfortable with you sending pictures of how ugly his apartment is, then that's, that's kosher with me. You, you, you would have hated the townhouse that I, I lived in before Zeta and I moved in together, absent Crabson. It was just like I was slowly but surely upgrading my my university look. It was just a bunch of stuff that meant something to me, but just didn't pair well together. I never spent the money to like upgrade my furniture. It was all just like ancient hand-me-down family lore, basically, and all that you're sitting on. It worked, but man, it was I was I was due to due for an upgrade. I think uh, Zeta's furniture and my furniture complemented each other very well, so it, it like it works out. It worked out very well us moving in together on a couple levels, of course, multiple levels. That down. One, two, three, four, five. He knows it's not great. He wants to move because the apartment itself isn't great. I feel ya. Two, three. And one, two. Are we at the top? We are. Another column down, just like that. Did I see your message, Random Sweet? I, I saw the, the message about the, the monitor. Oh, I see. I, I did miss that one. If I get it, I'll replace my main screen. It's 27 inch 1440p, but only 144 hertz. So you're getting an extra, what, 21 hertz out of, out of that upgrade? I don't know if that's justifiable, man. 
I'm, I'm sure it is for you, especially like at the level that you play um, Global Offensive at CSGO. Maybe those that extra 21 hertz. And maybe it's a better picture quality too. The, the QHD Nano IPS. Maybe that's the upgrade thing. All he owns is hand-me-downs, and that's fine, but he's lived here for two years, and he makes good money. So it's not a time or a financial issue. I got you. He just kind of, you know, there's, there's, there's other priorities in his life. Which, that's a really easy thing to do with, like, how your house looks, but also, like, how your house looks also affects, it, at least it affects my mood. Like, at a level I don't always pick up on. <laughs> like, if the house is a little bit dirty, it's just like, oh god, that's one more thing for me to do. And I don't really register it, but my anxiety just picks up a notch. It's good to have a clean house. Also, just in case, you know, you want some company to come over. You know, visit with some people. You don't want to be like, well, I gotta clean my house first. And you miss that opportunity. Or like, you know, redecorate your house. Okay, I gotta figure out, I guess just a cutting stone? I'm gonna figure out how to make cracked nether bricks. I think that's the only curveball in this column. Yeah, that's the only curveball in this column. That, there's a raw iron block in there too, but I, I have that. So uh, what do you say we uh, head down here and figure out how to make some uh, cracked nether brick? Also, I gotta repair Wilbur here pretty soon. He's down below 50%. I cannot, it's, it's, it's I, I just marvel every time at like, this is recognizable now. Like. This is going to be a giant freaking can of Wolf Brand Chili, dude. Oh, no. I think those were supposed to be waxed. They're looking very exposed. That's looking very exposed. Did I not wax those? Crap, man. I'm going to have to go back and touch up my copper blocks. Maybe that's before I was like, aware and comfortable with waxed copper blocks. Maybe that's what happened. Let's try with these. So, can't get them cracked that way. Just another bricks, another bricks. I guess I'm gonna have to look this up. Um, Minecraft wiki, cracked nether bricks. So cracked and chiseled nether bricks are decorative varieties that don't generate, naturally generate, crafting. Nether bricks form the walls, and so, okay. There's a recipe for nether bricks, for chiseled nether bricks even. But what about cracked? Oh, nether bricks plus fuel. So if you smelt nether bricks, you get cracked nether bricks. Okay. Okay. So that's how you do it. Not wild about that fact, but that that is that's how you do it. Okay. So instead of moving around in a panic, let's slow my roll a little bit. Place down some goodies here. Load that guy up. I'm going to need some more black wool, actually. Let's do that while I'm here. Actually, I've got more black wool in my other shulker box, so that's good. So now that I've made space, let's get a stack of nether bricks, because i got some spare nether, bl nether, blicks? nether bricks laying around here. And let's go ahead and smelt those up. Why not, right? And if I hadn't used the same browser t uh, to look this up, I could have seen that Absent Crabson already had the answers for me. It's when it's in the oven. I don't feel like I can properly clean unless it's all organized and things are matching. Mm. I could shove everything in the closet, 
But then I just moved all the mess, which means it's still dirty. Yep. Yeah, I was talking about that yesterday. I have a closet that's kind of like that right now. <laughs> not, not great. Load that guy with nether bricks and off he goes. Let's, uh, let's observe our first crop of cracked nether bricks. Wow, there they are. The legends are true. I got a whole bunch of nether bricks just queued up here, ready to go. The rarely used room, my, uh, my stone farm. Typically, like, I, I just, I need to do enough, just enough branch mining that I, I get more than enough stone. I'm going to take this opportunity to take another sip of my poi coffee, courtesy of Mike Ilberry's Coffee Company. <sighs> That's the stuff. We're done smelting, and we are back in business, folks. Off we go! Alright, column number, like, 28, maybe? <laughs> maybe 30. This might be the 30th column. I get why it is like that and why people have it like that. I'm also only human. I tend to put things in the closet hide the mess so I don't have to deal with it right away. That's that's kind of my process, too. It's like, I can't deal to look at it right now, but I also can't deal to, like, put it all in its place. And I just, like, throw it in a closet or an out-of-the-way place. And then at some point, when I'm, like, in a better headspace, I'm just like, oh, hey... I can clean that closet and then the stuff gets gets organized that's like my that's my my punk rock solution my improvised solution to this uh this two-step cleaning process <laughs> yeah it's like you you lessen the immediate anxiety but that like that long-term anxiety of knowing that's still there that's that's a little more manageable in in my experience but at some point it's just like all right we gotta we gotta put this away okay so it starts here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen wool to start this column Just like that. Let's go. There should be two mushroom blocks on my left. One, two. Yep, we got it. The count checks out. Go ahead and get this little, little reorganized. Alright, we're at the raw iron block. Is that in my orange box? The specialty box? I feel like it should be. And it is not. Uh oh. Night falls. There you are. What's up, buddy? I'm gonna place you here real quick, and then I'm gonna put a bed on you! Bang! Just double checking that I haven't got like any alerts. Cannot miss my flight. And I won't. I got some experience with this kind of thing. 
white concrete powder four five six seven eight eight concrete powder let's go followed by some snow i think all right let's let's snow sorry <laughs> and back to the powder if i'd been thinking what i should have done is i should have had all my concrete just in powder form and um because i don't think i've ever come across like a bunch of bulk concrete It'd just be like more concise just to have the powder in my inventory instead of taking up two inventory spots, you know, powder and whole concrete. Lesson learned for the next time I build a giant wolf brand can. <laughs> All right, take your time there, Absa Crabson. Three, four, five. We'll see if I'll be done counting when she gets back. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, full stack. 65, 66, 67, 68. Couldn't quite get the nice. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Whew. Gotta do a little bit of consolidation. This is getting... Getting hectic. Who's going in the box? Iron Ore, you're going back in the box. So we got 68. And that is enough red mushroom blocks to put down. And let's go ahead and just get two stacks of that stuff going because we're going to need more. That'll give us 68 and then like a full 60 blocks after the fact. And this crazy red mushroom block train is derailed by just a single piece of red wool and then it keeps on going. It's funny thinking back like to, to when I was considering streaming Minecraft for the first time and I was like, there's there's no way that this could possibly be <laughs> entertaining. There's no way that I could like carry a, a a monologue for that long and feel comfortable with it and feel entertaining. And now I'm sitting here at like the, the worst possible <laughs> situation for that kind of thing. Just a long term, huge one block at a time pro uh, project. And I'm just totally chill with it. I find that kind of entertaining. Personally entertaining. Like, I get a, a, a chuckle about myself, you know? I'm kind of getting low on these, uh, these nether warp blocks. Uh, there's a two spot for them right there. Bang, bang. Okay, red concrete right into the red wool. Oops. One, two, three. Now we're doing some wool, concrete, and this stuff. <laughs> and then back to the concrete. The just red blood cells block. One, two, three, four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. And then we're getting back into um, the banner, the obsidian banner. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is that only 12? Oh, I already placed one, so.
Love these little chill beats that they got going on. At least I thought I had another stack of black wool in here. Let's uh let's see. Oops. Black wool and I had black concrete powder, not black wool. <laughs> Oh, I should probably check these things when I'm on the ground. Whoops. Hey, my flight's on time, ladies and gents. This is a cracked nether brick. There we go. First one ever. Got it placed. Couple of red nether bricks just to round things out. My last piece of black wool. Damn it. Well, hold that thought, creative world. I'm going to get some black wool. <laughs> Double checking the health of my elytra. We're still looking good. Ouch. <laughs> Let's just slam into that wall real quick. Black wool is to the left. Thank you very much. And we got a, we got a decent amount of black wool. I'm gonna need more of it, so let's put two stacks in there, and then get a third stack, and just carry that around with us. Oh, that's right, we're, uh, we got a ways to go. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a carrot while I'm at it. Get my vision up. Wow, that worked out perfectly. I, dude, I'm glad that I was streaming that. No one would have believed me. <laughs> kind of just accidentally landed back up on the platform I needed to be on. Eat your heart out, Bill, Mur Bill Murray. We got witnesses, baby. Two screens. What's up, Titty Biscuits? I hope you're doing well, man. So uh, what I got going on here is over here on the left, this is my hardcore world. It has been a little while. I'm, I'm glad uh, glad you stopped by. This is my hardcore world. This is the same world that I've been working on, World 11. I'm working on a huge project. And this is my creative world. This is what's telling me what block to place where. And actually, once I get out of this little section, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll show you what I'm working on. So I wanna make sure that I don't lose my place here. He's dead while cautiously double checking whether he's in the right place or not. So I think what I gotta do is one, two, and then I'm back even with the house. One, two, three, four. Single black wool on top of that. Obsidian, wool, then we switch back to obsidian. Two of those. One more wool. One, two. And uh, do I have a crimson stem nearby I can middle click? I do not. Fortunately, we got them right here in the inventory. All right, now I can scoot back a little bit. So this is my creative world. <laughs> and this is what I'm working on, Titty Biscuits. So I'm taking this flat image label and I am building it in a cylinder so I can turn this into a three-dimensional shaped can of Wolf Brand Chili. Live in the dream. Welcome back, Absent Crapson. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I waver back and forth as to how worth it it really is. 
You know, sometimes just like, well, I'm going to be playing Minecraft anyway, and this is like a mega project that I will forever be somewhat proud of. But there's also like that that lingering, you know, parental voice in the back of my mind that's just like, you could be like solving world hunger <laughs> or like bettering yourself, furthering your career when, when you're working on this. But like, maybe that's just how lame I am. I, I could just think of no better way for me to unwind <laughs> than to slowly but surely build a pixel accurate can of wolf brand chili on a hardcore world where if i die even once everything is gone that just adds an extra little bit of satisfaction to it i've thought about using like something like that like light 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 matioka is that what that how that's pronounced i knew that that was a thing Preach, brother, preach. Who needs end world hunger when you can build Wolf Brand Chili? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Light Matica. Thank you. Yeah, I, I've... I'm, I'm just still a little iffy on it. I'm just still a little iffy on it. As, as Alpine Giant would say, there's a slipper slope for these things. So that would be extremely useful, but at the same time, it's also not... That crosses the line into, you know, not vanilla gameplay for me. So I'm, I'm just uncomfortable with it. Also, I'm not sure how I could best, like, generate a cylinder of this texture. I'm sure there's, like, an MC edit way to do it pretty easy. But, like, I don't know about it. And, like I said, I'm, I'm not too interested in it. So I'm just out here one pixel at a time just rambling away. I found a system that kind of works for me. Like, this works pretty well. I'm not sure how this, the uh, viewer experience is. Maybe it's disorienting to see me move back and forth between two Minecraft clients. But like... It, it works pretty well. I need to light this up and I also really need to get those lightning rods going. I just hate for this to get struck and catch on fire and I have to rebuild the dang thing. Hard to tell up here. I wonder if it's close enough to nighttime. It is not. Black column's done, so let's go ahead and drop down, mark it with my copper block. Woo! That's some good coffee. Once again, courtesy of Koi Coffee. Friend and fellow streamer Micah Ilberry's Coffee Company. <clears throat> I think that doing this without um, uh, Lightmatic, Lightmatica, and uh, other tools just kind of adds to the 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 intensity of it all. Like it adds to the craziness of it. Like, he did this, and it was just... You could have done this in Minecraft, too, if you had just as little life as the Shasta one does. <laughs> and it does. It adds to the reward, too, I think. I, I think that's a good way to put it. That's, that's certainly how I feel. I'm just waiting for it to be nighttime, baby. Get this rain away. I could. Here's what I could do. Is there a nice corner for me to hide in around here? This is good. I'm gonna box myself in and make night hurry nighttime along. Now I'm just gonna inspect this column real quick and see if there's any blocks that I need to pick up before I start building it. So far this is all pretty common. So I'm still, on my desktop, I'm still using Kubuntu. It's a variety of Ubuntu Linux that uses KDE as its desktop. So if you want a glimpse of my desktop real quick, this is kind of what it looks like. This is what it looks like without compositing. Like I turn off all the fancy effects while I stream. So all of my CPU usage goes towards Minecraft and streaming this game to your screen. And uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. Usually I have like my phone data over here like shows the um text messages 
different notifications, uh, my battery, the signal of my Wi-Fi, all that. Right now it's disconnected just because you guys don't need to see all my phone's notifications. Yeah, just a, a nice little setup. I like it, man. I've uh, I'm I'm trying I'm trying Fedora, another brand of Linux on my laptop right now, and I I I, I like how Fedora's doing things. I I don't see that many. I'm enough of a casual. I don't I don't have that many demands out of my operating system. I don't think that like there's not a huge difference between the two OSs so far for me. But it's stable and it stays out of my way, and that's really all I ask of it. So I got calcite. I definitely have both of those. White concrete powder. Let's just keep roaming up here. See if I got any oddball blocks. I, I, this is definitely like kind of in the same vein as a Bob Ross episode. He's just like peacefully talking his way through, you know, what colors he's going to put together on his palette. That white on white technique, just beating the devil out of your brush. Except this is the, clearly the Minecraft <laughs> equivalent of things. Just a nice, peaceful piece of capitalism. Yeah, man. I mean, Windows is everywhere. So just just by that fact alone, it's just kind of nice to use Windows sometime. Just because you can sit down at any PC and you're going to be familiar with what's going on there. So I totally get that. You got to use what makes the most sense to you personally. And for me, that's Linux. But for a lot of people, that's Windows. And I think that that's okay. There is no end-all be-all. Yo, I'm glad to hear it. You're really happy with your PC setup. Everything came together pretty nicely, huh? Oh, shit. Rain fresh. Double pogs. Nothing much, man. I'm streaming extremely early today by, by my standards because I've got a flight to catch. <laughs> so before I, uh, before I leave you guys for a few days... I thought I would just get a stream in. Oh my god. Okay. First things first. I, I gotta check whether these blocks need to be waxed. I think they do. It's a long stream of bricks. Here we go. Yep. Okay. Those need to be waxed. And I think that guy too. Are those the three? Oh god. So further down, that guy. Yep, that's him. I can't believe it didn't wax him. Oh, I'm just going to another, just another city in the the U.S. I'm going there for work, so it's not like any kind of, uh, you know, nice vacation. <laughs> Although I need one. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Streaming before a flight's a very dangerous idea. You think so? I mean, I would not... Full disclosure, I would not say that I was going on a flight somewhere um, publicly out on the internet if, like, my house wasn't being lived in and taken care of and watched by multiple neighbors and friends. So, you know, I, I, I don't feel any um, kind of a risk mentioning that to the wider internet. But yeah, this is as far as I've gotten on the Wolf Brand Chili build so far, Rainfresh. I got net weight, 10 ounces, 283 grams. A nice banner up there. Like, it's slowly but surely coming along. I am, uh, I think it's fair to say that I'm pretty dang proud of it. So I'll tell you guys what. Let's get some scaffolding real quick. Let's see if we can knock this out. Got a nice pallet of blocks right here that I need to manage. Okay, let's uh really don't even need I'm not gonna use that yellow glazed terracotta for a while. I don't even know why I'm hanging on to that. Uh crack nether bricks, red nether bricks, and nether bricks. Let's keep those all together. That'll be good. Dude, I I'm I'm scared to know how long it took. Like I was saying yesterday, I could like 
go back and, and take a look at how much time has passed up there in the top left of our screen. Um, it's taken a long time, man. When I'm really vibing, it takes like maybe 20 minutes to complete a single column of this thing. And um, <clears throat> we're sitting at like, I'm on like the 30th column, maybe. Diddy Biscuits, you could even send a, an Imgur link slowly if you want to. I'm cool with it, man. So these are waxed, okay. And how about some honey? Let's let's get some honey up going in here too. Keep the diorites together. I think that's fine. And what else can go up here? Black wool, black concrete powder. Good. Let's get a check on my little copper farm. See if we can get a few more blocks for this. There you go. That's what it looks like in the daylight. This is the inside of the wolf brand can. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> it's related to chili. Let's see, let's see what Titty Biscuits got going on here. <laughs> the cow orgy Pope strikes again. My reaction w when my friend asked if I had a favorite part of our horror themed orgy. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I like how you stipulated, yes, it's related to chili. <laughs> how are things going over here, Copper Farm? Anybody needs uh, farmed yet? You're all looking all bright and undeveloped. Come on. Come on. Somebody tarnish for me. Tarnish right before my eyes. Right now. No? 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 Not a single one? No takers? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh! You did. You were just hiding from me. Okay. What? Well, crap. Let's hide away a few more things. So, um, I got, I'm making this wolf brand can pixel by pixel, right? I'll, I'll tell you what's up with the copper. So sometimes some of these pixels, like for example, right here, this is, if you look up here in the top right or middle right, I suppose this is waxed exposed copper. So basically I need to get copper in this state. So yeah, copper changes colors over time until you add honeybee wax to it. And that freezes it in its state forever. But you can't force this change. They only change color uh, naturally. And they change color as fast as possible when they're at least four blocks apart from each other. Like if these two blocks are right next to each other, they would age more slowly. And I want to age them as quick as possible. So I have um, four blocks in between each of these. And you could probably see as I've been talking, there you go. We got another one that's aged right over here. So basically what I do is I collect these as they become exposed copper, move it up here with some honeycomb, and then it becomes wax exposed copper, and bam, they're kind of just stuck like that forever, and that's that's what I'm looking for here. This is a, a relatively new mechanic in Minecraft. Like, I, I had not, at least I had no experience with it up until this build, and clearly it shows with those unwaxed copper blocks up there that I got to take care of today. But these, I'm far enough away when I'm building the wolf brand can over there, which, oh my god, it's coming together. <laughs> that these don't actually age while I'm not standing over here. So what happens when I die in my hardcore world? Um, that's it. This whole world becomes read only. I, I can technically, like, it, I come back in spectator mode where I can't add or remove blocks, um, nothing changes in the world, it's just like a static portrait of where I was when I died, and I move on to the next world or the next game on my stream, I guess. That's it, man. So in the crafting grid, I can show you here with this guy. 
Oops. So this is my um, unwaxed exposed copper. All you need is just a single honeycomb, just placed anywhere in the grid to get waxed exposed copper. Why'd I break that? I don't know. Woo, can't leave you be. Got some fresh tarnished copper down here. All right, let's fly away before this gets out of hand. <laughs> it's already getting a little out of hand. So you just use the wax on the block without the inventory. Right click the block with the wax and you think that works? Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. I'm going to try that next time. If I remember, you know, I'm a, I'm a little... <laughs> Me and short-term memory are not best friends. I think this is where I need to be. Kind of. How about right here? Boom. Bang, bang. All right, let's, let's get this uh, scaffold party going. Up we go. I think that they, I think there's four states in total. You have completely untarnished copper. You have exposed copper, weathered copper, and then fully green copper. It's like fully oxidized. There you go. Titty Biscuits is my fact checker right now. And he says four. Look at this guy. This is fully exposed. This is copper. It's the same block. It's just green and gross. Oh, and I just... <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Gonna replace that with the wax variant. Looking for any bright green that might be around me here. Ah, we found it. And I think... Let me double check. Yeah, those those are just brilliant. Brilliant and shiny. Okay. Oh, so I can't even pick these up. Crap. <laughs> well. If I need some waxed cut copper, that being the case, we can just do this number. Uh, wax these bad boys up before I forget. <laughs> Sorry, it just random slip knot. It happens. It happens when you're my age of my generation. Random slip knot. Okay. So we Gucci fam. Just bridge over here real quick. And yeah, I, got, I waxed that one. That one looks fine. Oh, yeah, you can you can remove the wax when it's oxidized, right? With an axe? I got some chat to catch up on, man. I was really focused on this task, huh? Rainfresh, like, the estimate that I'm going to give that, that I gave yesterday is I think if I move at this current pace, I'll be done with this project in, like, September. Like, this is, we're talking long-term dedication to uh to, to Wolf Brand Chili noticing me. Senpai, please notice me. I'm building you a monument that's taking months. And uh could I could lose it all if I die. Oh, I need to need to wax that bad boy before it gets uh it's too green. This is my first time, like I was saying, Titty Biscuits. This is my first real what just died over there? It's my first real attempt at building with copper because it's a purely decorative block. So I wasn't about to just go out of my way to uh, learn all of all of its secrets when I guess I'm more of a pragmatic builder who's stuck in his ways. There's a new block. It takes me a while to really embrace its possibilities, I think. But I'm getting better at that. Nice little cave here. Just just end? It does. That's kind of my that's kind of my plan. This is this is my real like Hail Mary touchdown throw to uh 
to get to get the creators of Wolf Brand Chili to notice me and my my selfless advertising efforts over the years and just maybe eventually I could become the spokesman. Cuz you know as great as as Wolf Brand is, they've basically just been relying on uh just their reputation and um and TikTok now for years to try to get their uh, their brand out there. They're Glorious Wolf Brand. And I just feel like me personally, I could probably take him to the next level if they just let me read a script. <laughs> ah, no distracting green anymore. We we got it, fam. I feel I feel at ease. Whoop. Oh god. Before I go up there, actually, let's go ahead and land. Oof, stroke. <laughs> oh, I only just remembered. The bridge! Yeah! Oh, you want to take a look at it? Because, dude, I'm very proud of this. And it's, it's kind of a shame it's getting literally overshadowed by a giant can of Wolf Brand. It's done, man. Let's get a full screen look at that. That's truly a pretty bridge. And th this was Absent Craftsman's idea. You could see that this used to be land right here. But I actually dug out this whole chunk just to widen up the river a little bit. Just to give it a little more just a little more of an aesthetic kind of uh, kind of look to it. And it's just, it's really cool just like imagining walking around, or sorry, boating around this curve, this bend in the river. Just like you've gone down this beautiful, beautiful canyon, hopefully with a city on either side of it at some point. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I don't normally have a thing for bridges, but that, that bridge got me bricked up. <laughs> You just come around the bend and look at this. You got Kenneth right there. Now a can of Wolf Brand Chili right there. It's just pretty, man. And then the real Kenneth. The real majesty of the world. Just waiting to greet you as you hit the open ocean. I'm still very excited at the possibilities of a, a village right here. I still have all those notes. I wrote them down. We're, we're going to make it happen. But first... We got a can of chili to build. I'm a mess, dude. <laughs> what am I doing? Just glorifying the beauty of Wolf Brand Chili. That's all I'm doing. Where's my normal copper at? You. Place that block right there and let's... Uh... Oh, there's another tarnish. There's two tarnished ones over here. Okay. Okay, we got this. All right, now I got to split before I notice another one, man. Crap. Well, it's the orange one that has the wax in it, so let's go ahead and get that. Wax that exposed copper. Add it there, add that there. Don't really look around. Woo! Damn, dude, I can't believe it's been that long. One year and four months. Rain fresh. That's impressive, man. Am I going to sink into this? I feel like it's a trap. It, it was not a trap. Dude, time flies. Tempest fugit. And all that good stuff in Latin. Here's how many rows we have done. I should, like, mark this off every, like... I should have a sign, just, like... Maybe not. Maybe not. I'd rather not know what, what column I'm on of building this thing. Just because, like, a watch pot never boils. That's another one of those strange English idioms. I think that followage has, like, a uh, time limit. So try it again, maybe, Diddy Biscuits. I think it might work for you down. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, this one's pretty chill, though, right? Look at that. There we go. One year, one month. 
Holy cow, you're you're past the year mark, man. 13 freaking months. That's a lucky 13 in my in my personal opinion. Yeah, we got no wild blocks in this one. I think we're good to uh good to build this column. And so if yeah, if I if I can't stream this from the hotel room this week, then at least I do have I am gonna have the world file on my laptop. So maybe we can catch back up at the end of the week, and uh, I can show you guys how much progress I made sitting alone in a dark hotel room. <laughs> Draw the curtains. I'm working on the Wolf Brand can. Oh my gosh. This can be kind of tricky to see where I'm at. Ooh, yeah, I gotta. I, I do have to actually accurately measure this out. Okay, Titty Biscuits. Well, thanks for hanging out, man. I'll have to catch you next time. Mario Kart Wii, hell yeah! I might play some Mario Kart 8 this week when I'm not playing Minecraft. Very nice. Well, enjoy. Maybe race as Toad and um, knock my nemesis, Luigi, out of the race. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I need the luck. That's for sure. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, so this is where we're at. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen wool. Let's do it. Should leave us with two left over down there in my hot bar. Followed by a single mushroom block. And then three more of these bad boys. Get myself a little refill. One, two, three. Good. Oh man, just a few more weeks, huh? Back to Brunei, Brunei. I don't know how to pronounce your home country. I'm trying try to trying to think of it. Have you enjoyed your time over over in the the UK though? Hopefully it was a good extended trip over there or has been a good extended trip. Brunei. Oh, I got I got it right the first time. I doubted myself. Heck yeah, it's been a good time he says. Glad to hear it. Someday I hope to see it myself. I seem to be but better traveled in general, but I, I think you know that after watching this stream enough. <laughs> Dude, preach. Like, I I have a little sheen of sweat right now going on. Just because it's it's getting kind of toasty over here stateside too. And like I don't know. I, I don't I, I don't tolerate heat very well. <laughs> like if, if it could just be like winter or spring temperatures like all the time, I think I'd be uh perfectly okay with that, personally. Alright, so we're here at the calcite block. which I put away in one of these shulker boxes. There you are. Very distinctive block, even in its small little item form. It's getting in a boxing match with a microphone there. <laughs> I think that's the powder, right? Yeah, we got that right. Okay, good. Two mushroom blocks. Ah, ah, ah. One red wool, back to the mushrooms. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Only 18. That's not bad. Very doable. Red wool, then back to it. Only three of them, though. The red wool. Ah! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Fifty? Good God. 51, 52. Four. Only fifty-four. We're not 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 bad. Not bad. Just gotta bust out the old red shulker box one more time. Fifty-four. Let's toss ten on that alternate stack. Pick up the shulker box. And just burn through this entire stack. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> it's gonna take a crazy amount of patience i think that just like i i'm so i'm so tickled by the idea of seeing this and completing this that like that's that's what keeps me moving forward it's just the idea of seeing it finished and like i am gonna get a legitimate feeling of accomplishment when i finish this thing and also like it is such a crazy and kind of like objectively stupid thing to build that I'm just entertained by that as well like I've always been someone who just gets a lot of entertainment out of like people reacting with why would you ever do that <laughs> like <laughs> just taking things that that extra mile is there any reason why someone would build a giant can of Wolf Brand Chili pixel accurate in Minecraft? Taking dozens of hours? <laughs> no, there's no real reason to. And that's exactly what makes it, like, I, I find encouragement with that idea. I, I don't know how else to explain it. I think also, like, since I'm going to post this online somewhere, I, I think that um, just the internet is just a very competitive place and you really have to do, like, something above and beyond to even get noticed by anyone. And I think that Wolf Brand is just kind of this untapped market. And it's also kind of good timing with that... that that single TikTok of the dude's dad winning a chili contest with Wolf Brand Chili. I'm glad it's finally getting the internet recognition it deserved. This is my chance to be like, heck yeah. Wolf Brand needs some time in the spotlight. Dude, that's cool. It was a 30 minute video of how to make a house in Minecraft, but like... Learning the video editing software and all that, that, that really takes, that takes patience. Like you truly understand that like every 15 seconds in of, of a video is like, you know, minutes, whole, whole minutes of work longer than that, depending on like how many effects there are in it and like mixing the audio and video and getting your transitions right. Like it's a lot, dude, a lot goes into video editing. You can only speed it up so much. I've got a buddy, like, that's that's his entire career. Do I get the black concrete powder now? I don't think so. And I don't know how he does it. Like, I don't have patience for that kind of thing. But for some strange reason, I can do this all day. Powder, powder, wool, and there's the obby city home. Whoops. I get that back? Got that back. Gotta make sure I don't lose those shulker boxes. So many expensive goodies being held inside there. I 
I keep going back to that road trip analogy just because I think it holds so true in that like it's easy to be this patient when the, the the scope of this project is just so huge that I have no real expectation of finishing it. Like I'm not impatient to finish just because it's such a huge project that some part of me is like, it'll just never get done. <laughs> Man, maybe that's true. Maybe that's actually true. Maybe it just will never get done. But there's also another part of me that's just like, I'm going to blink one day this fall and I'll turn around and it'll be complete. And I'm just very excited to turn around and see it that day. The satisfaction is going to come earlier than that. That's the dangerous part is that the first thing I'm building is the front label of this can. And so... I'm going to be able to like stand just right and it'll look like a completed can of, of Wolf Brand Chili. And then maybe it'll be hard to get the motivation to do like the nutrition facts on the back. It's going to be hard to get the motivation to do the back of the can because like I've already got the coup de gras already. I've got the, the, the face of the can already done. Maybe that'll be the part where I got to do some soul searching <laughs> about how to finish this can. But I'm already mindful of that, like, at this early stage. So maybe I can just work around that part of my psyche and just push onward. Oh, man, from here on out, it's just mushroom blocks all the way up. Like, this is just kind of a uh, nice example of that mindset right now. It's just, I've just been rambling into the mic, having a conversation with you, and I blinked, and this column is done. And I kind of feel like this is just a small example of how building this wolf brand can is gonna work in the big picture. I gotta light this up, dude. Stuff is gonna spawn up here and it's gonna ambush me and it's going to kill me. So I think before I do anything, I gotta go and get a stack of torches. Just make sure I don't uh, shoot myself in the foot here. Woo! Also, I gotta heal up Wilbur, so I think I gotta First things first, let's drop down. Mark this column as done so I don't get confused at the end of my long flight. Torches, torches. Where are my torches at? And absolutely, the, the hard work is going to pay off. And it's... Part of me chuckles at that, like, working hard to make a can of Wolf Brand Chili in Minecraft. Like, I keep... like I, I've said this earlier in the stream, that there is some, like, fatherly part of my brain that's just like, you could be solving world hunger. Like, you could be working on your career when you're spending all these hours in Minecraft making this ridiculous can of Wolf Brand Chili. But I'm just so entertained by it. Like... This is not me doing work. This is me, like, taking my day off. Pog, no torches. <laughs> Facts. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and heal up our wings. Wait, before I do that, let's light up the top. I'm going to forget. I almost forgot there. Dude, it takes three fireworks just to get to the top of this thing. That's outrageous. Oh, yeah, that's a great reminder, Absent Crapson. That part is forgetting what Koki said yesterday. Life should be filled with happiness and emotions. I, I just think that that, like, that... That fatherly, like, I guess that fatherly aspect of my brain. That that adult aspect of my brain. I think that that's just one of the emotions, you know? I, I think that um, any kind of strong conviction that you have should also be counterbalanced by a little bit of, like, self-examination. I think that ev every single one of those feelings is is worthy of examination and um, trying to recognize uh, wh where they're coming from and whether it's coming from a good place or a bad place. Woo. Let's 
fly down here, but also not get squashed. And also, let's fill up our inventory space real quick with some easily recognizable items so I don't pick up a single one of these big dang old ender pearls. Oh. Crap. Well, I don't have my sword on me. Actually, I have to fly back, y'all. <laughs> I'm not used to not having my full um, set of tools on me, but of course I need that space just to keep the build going. So I've got to be doubly sure that I'm not making eye contact with any of these guys because, like, they would straight up kill me? I don't have any weapons to defend myself with besides, like, always a water bucket. That's always important with Endermen. But a pickaxe and a shovel? Like, it, I think it would take a while to beat a Enderman to death with a shovel. I, I don't know. Dang it. I don't even have my emergency pair of wings on me, so I gotta make sure that I don't run out of juice. Fortunately, like, just over this hill is my the future side of my village. So I think we're gonna make it, y'all. I think we're gonna make it. And if that health bar dips too low, then I'm just gonna walk it in. Easy. Ouch. Oh my gosh, you look at the chat for half a second and you slam into a mushroom. <laughs> Alright, Random Sweet. Good to see you as always. I hope you have a good rest of your day. <laughs> I can't believe... I still can't believe that I burned a Totem of Undying yesterday. I mean, I can because it's me. But, like, bro, like, how, how could you space out so hard? I think... Long ago, I got dangerously comfortable with this hardcore world. I, I think it was once I got infinite tones of undying, it's just like, okay, so the risk of me actually dying and losing this world has gone down by a lot. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. And to some extent, no, it's 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 not fine. You you can't get that relaxed. So this is the shulker box that contains the goods. These are the specific goods that I need. And I think that Wilbur's gonna get me the rest of the way there. Let's and there's only one way to find out. The nice thing about this flight is if is that if my elytra breaks, odds are I'm probably gonna land in the water and not land on an iceberg. Just gonna keep an eye on that. I'm still uh still got plenty. Still got a sliver. I guess I can full screen this for you guys and for me. While we're uh, adventuring in just survival, not doing any building. Still good. We're still good. Do a quick dive. Gotta survive this. Simple enough. Alright, so I will fill up my inventory. Make sure I don't pick up any pearls. We're good. Alright, volume test. Volume check. If you're wearing headphones, if you're blasting it, this is gonna get really loud for a second. So don't say I didn't warn you. Three, two, one, loudness. Let's go. Jesus. Oh my god. That's a bit much. I'm just here to heal up my elytra, y'all. You know? Many of you may die, but that is the sacrifice that I'm willing to make. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pure chasm. This is actually Rain Fresh's favorite song. Just the sound of Enderman dying in mess. Yeah, if someone just joined now, they'd be like, uh, what the hell? Fix up this pickaxe while I'm at it. Oh, 
All right, we're sitting pretty. I did not make eye contact with that guy, so we're clear for takeoff. A nice, beautifully healed Elytra. And get this, I even had the presence of mind to put down Red Bed Redemption and reset my spawn point. So we're actually going to spawn back at my base this time. That progress. I'll totally forget the next time, but you know, baby steps. Oh my god, the, the frame drops in here, man. <laughs> That's so intense. Let's go ahead and drop that guy off in there, because I don't think I'll be needing some fully oxidized cut copper for quite some time. Pew! Didn't seem like a very good blast off. All right, let me let me do some let me do some admiring. Dude, what a beautiful freaking world! Every so often, you know, I just I, I get I I gotta stop and look, you know. And it doesn't even look like much, but it's it's a lot. Cleared out all those trees. There's gonna be like a village there, a beautiful canyon side road that leads to a bridge that I shamelessly stole from reddit giant big cactus farm made out of glass that looks like a three block high cactus and then this beast dude this beast Take a screenshot of that progress you can see how it's like gonna be a banner that kind of folds back a little bit and then it keeps going across and it's gonna say a great source of protein I think, have we completed the U.S. Department of Agriculture stamp of approval up here? I kind of think we did. And also, like, the, the red wool and the concrete just working its way through the label, like, as texturing. Like, that, that does so much for me. That makes it look more like a real can and um, less like just a smoothed out, Instagrammed, filtered version of the real thing. I'm all about just, you know, Wolf Brand can acceptance over here. I like it for exactly what it is, as night falls on World 11. And as night falls on World 11 and the stars come out, y'all, this is where I'm going to wrap it up. So hopefully I'll be able to stream from a hotel room this week. Um, stay posted on the official Shasta 1 Discord. I'll, I'll let you guys know how that um, works out. Hopefully it does. But if not, have a great week. I'm glad I got to catch up with you all one more time before I shipped out of here. And um, yeah. Take care of yourselves out there, love one another, and take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.